It's been a hectic few days at Niger's missions in South Africa. Today, a full plane manifest is in place. 320 passengers, half of them traveling with emergency travel certificates. There are more than 800 names so far and still counting. The evacuation wheels are definitely turning, but it's not been without challenges. One of these challenges is that we need to determine who those that are really distressed or have lost their properties or are in serious danger and are willing to go back. We also have to deal with uh, issues of some families that um, are separating uh, without uh, you know, the necessary agreement between the, uh, the affected couples. Some, uh, you know, uh, some families, uh, family heads have called, for instance, to um, express their concerns that um, their partners uh, have uh, come to travel home with the children without his consent. Some of those whose names are on the evacuation list say they have had it with living in South Africa. Due to what they are doing to us, burning our cars, burning my cars, taking, looting my shops, so I have nothing to do. It's better I go home and start up a life, a good life. I just decided that let me just relocate back home. The little resources I have on me, let me start something doing. It's better than just wasting time here without doing any reasonable thing. There are also those on the list who are now having second thoughts. I want to know the reason why they signed the agreement, whatever it is, the clause that says, if you go, you're not coming back. Okay. Only people who want to go and not come back. It will be signed that they're not coming back. While some are packed and ready to go, there are those in South Africa's other eight provinces who are also hoping for a free ride to Gauteng, where the OR Tambo Airport is, because they can't afford to get there. Of course, you know that resources are very, very limited, and we cannot even determine whether some of these people are saying, because we've seen a number of people that have come even as far as Cape Town since Saturday. And for some that were stranded, we did make arrangement for them to stay. The Air Peace flight is expected to land at Or Tambo International Airport, Johannesburg, at 6 a.m. local time on Wednesday. One or two other flights may follow, given the large number of people who have put down their names. All those on flight one are expected to be here at the Consulate General in Johannesburg before 5 a.m. on Wednesday to be ferried to the airport. Same goes for all those gathering at the Nigerian High Commission in Pretoria. Flight time is 9 a.m. local time. Hopefully, the process will go hitch-free. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betsy Divya, Channel Television News.